Hello and welcome back to another Shadowlands Gold Farming video. Today we're going to talk about the best gold farm that I think is in the game right now. And basically it has to do with skinning. So it's a solo farm, you want to do it as a Guardian Druid. And the way I've set it up is that I have a level 50 Guardian Druid. With pretty much really a kind of decent gear for level 50 I would say. And this way you can just pull as many mobs as you want. The only thing you really want to think about is that you, is that you need to use Thrash every now and then. So the mobs don't reset, so for example, right now, go back, use the Thrash. The Thrash will generate so much aggro that the mobs will never pretty much reset or leash. So just go back and do that every now and then. So as you can see, right now I go back, use another Thrash, and we're just going to keep on pulling. So the location itself is located in Ardenwild. I'm going to show you a big map in just a second. I just want to make sure that I get back and actually leash as well. So I'm just going to show you. You can do a big pull as a Guardian Druid. You will never have to worry about your health. You have so many cooldowns to use, you have Iron Fur, you have Survival Instinct. You can heal yourself with Frenzy re re Regeneration. You can reduce the Renewal as well, to actually heal yourself. And you have Convoked the Spirits, you have Berserk to damage the enemies, and yeah, there's so many cooldowns. And even for this pull I barely used any cooldowns. And I also have the Ring Enchant or the Ring... I have Enchants but the gems are better, so 5 speed. And also Passive Health Regen. It's really good to have in between pool, uh, pools, so I barely ever have to heal myself. Now before I show you the pool locations and everything, I want to shout out the main sponsor of the video, which is students from Seed on to Gold Cap Guide, which you can still get for 50% off by using my code when you buy it. So click the link in the description down below to check out the book, and if you want to buy it, use my code to save 50%. I also want to shout out my own Twitch channel, as I am streaming a lot more on Twitch right now. I'm doing gold farms like this one, testing out new stuff as well, and just having fun hanging out with you guys in chat. So feel free to join my Twitch, just click the link down below, in the description, and in the pinned comment, and check us out on Twitch. Give us a follow, and just check us out when we're live. So yeah, we're just going to con continue the farm now. I'll do one more pull, then I'm going to show you the location that I usually go for. You want to do as big pulls as possible. As a Guardian Druid, your AoE damaging abilities is the only thing you really have to kill the enemies with. So the more mobs you pull, the better off you are in terms of how many mobs you can kill. And you will never die anyway, so how many mobs you pull, it doesn't really matter, right? You just want to pull as many as possible. So just make sure you use a Thrash every now and then to keep your aggro up on them. And then you just run around, you pull as many as humanly possible. And yeah, you will get tons of loot from doing this, you will get meat, you will get leather. It's basically a meat and skinning farm, so you will see. In my banks, I just forgot to, so this guy leashed, because I didn't use thrash. But basically, you will get tons of different types of leather. The heavy callus hide and the callus hides are kind of RNG. Everything in my banks is from 4 hours of farming, by the way. So this is what 4 hours of farming looks like, 69 heavy callus hides, you also have regular callus hides. And I do have herbalism, so I can pick up some herbs every now and then as well. And tons of regular leather that I will sell some of it on the auction house for some profit. And I will vendor shuffle some of it as well through leatherworking. And you will also get tons of tenebrous ribs and also shadowy shanks. And creeping crawler meat as well. Pretty much all of the good food. All at the same place. So basically the route looks like this. And you're mainly farming in the right circle. So the big right circle on the right side. You are basically just going laps around that circle, and the left circle is kind of a backup, just in case this one is already taken or you kill the mobs too fast, so you need to go somewhere else. So just pick your starting point on the right circle, start over there, and farm in a circular fashion, so you just keep on pulling, and basically end up where you start, basically, right? So just have name tags or something, and tag the mobs. You can also alt-tab the mobs, the mobs as well if you want to. Whatever you are most comfortable with, really. And then you just pull as many as possible. Remember, remember to use a Thrash every now and then. Just to reset the aggro and keep them on you. And then you just keep on pulling. It is very fun, to be honest. It's a very good way to farm. And you can do this as a level 50 with barely any gear. The only real gear that I have on my level 50 character is the trinkets. Everything else you can buy on the auction house for about like 100 gold each. I think in total I spent like 20,000 gold setting up this character, so... I think pretty much everyone should be able to set up a character like this to farm with, and you don't have to be any higher level. Level 50 is perfect, and Saif actually did a test, and level 50s are better than level 60s with up to 200 item level. And that's with this item level that I have right now. And the thing is, you can gear up a level 60, but I can also gear up my level 50. 
I can do heroic raids and get even more gear as well to do even more DPS, but I don't really need to because I can already pull infinite amount of mobs. Well, maybe not infinite, but I can pull a ton of mobs. Even all the way down here on the elite farm that I did an uploaded video about, I pulled 8 elites in one pull and didn't die. So guardians are really strong. This location right here, once again, just go through the circle. I'll try to show you the pulls in this video, just so you can have like a clue about what's, what you're doing. So the main pulls are, I do like 4 to 5 main pulls. I've done 3 so far, this is the 4th one. If I can, I combine the previous pull and this one as well. Kinda depends on how many mobs are up and if I can leash them all that far. Because they will start dying right from the thrash, because it deals a lot of damage over time. After this stone, there's one massive pull that I want to show you as well for the video. And after that, it's pretty straightforward what to do. Because you just kill the enemies and all of that good stuff. This farm feels very efficient though, for real. This is like my new favorite farm, and it's solo as well, so it's my new favorite farm, and I can do it solo. It is actually perfect. I love skinning, I love farming for meat, I can sell the meat, I can get like steady gold from the meat. And having skinning is kind of like playing a casino, because you need to get the heavy callousines to start making profit whenever you're doing skinning. So it's kind of like you're looking for the heavy callous, and until then, you're basically not making any gold, right? I'm not sure if I can do all of this in one pull. Depends on how fast I can pull and how fast they die from the thrash. I think I'll need to split this into two big pulls because there's so many enemies over here. This location is awesome though, for real, there's so much to pull over here. And now I want to use another thrash. Let me pull this one. And if you ever go low on DPS or low on health, you just use your cooldowns, right? You have so many survivability cooldowns anyway, and the Convoked Experience is awesome for DPS. It is so good, man. You can also use this to level up another character as well if you want to. You can do this while leveling, the experience per hour isn't that great. But I've been doing this to help level up my Monk as well on my second account. And you can get about one level every two and a half hours, as long as you have a Guardian Druid pulling like this and you are not in the same group as each other, so just have the other person tag the mobs after you, and he will get experience. So you can use this to power level friends and... I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of fun. You can use this to power level friends while they're AFK or something, except they actually have to tag the mobs, but still. And now's the last pull I'll show you, because after that you just go up here and restart the entire thing. But there is one massive pull you can do basically right here, which I think is awesome. So you just go down here and do this last pull before you go back up and reset the entire circle. Because by the time you've killed these, the mobs at the beginning of the video will have started to respawn so you can just go back and pull those again. And the good thing about this location right here is there's so many stags. And the stags drop a ton of the meat, right? The Tenebrous Ribs. And there's also a ton of moths and they drop the Creeping Crawler meat, which is the second most expensive meat. By doing this farm you get a variety of different things, different meats and stuff, and basically all of them are usable. They are slowly starting to die right now, but I'm just going to keep on pulling a little bit. I'll go back and skin them after a while. Now we need to use Thrash again, we need to use some cooldowns over here. I'll just kill these, because I need to go back and skin anyway. So this is basically the pig pull, you pull as many mobs as you can down here, there are some more mobs on the hill over there I can pull as well afterwards, but I kind of don't want to die right now. So yeah. Just going to go back over here as well. There we go, so now you just use Convoked Spirits and you are alive. That was a risky pull, but <laughs> that was fun. I love doing risky pulls every now and then. So yeah, that's pretty much the video. That's how you do the farm. It became a little bit longer than I would have wanted it to be, but I wanted to show you every single pull. So now you go back and you reset the entire thing. And once again, these are the circles you farm in. So that is the video, leave a like down below, leave a comment as well how much gold per hour you can make from this. I think on a very high pop server you can expect 50,000 gold per hour from doing this. And on my server I'm making 100,000 so I'm really happy about the farm. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about it, leave a like, leave a sub as well if you haven't, and that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again very soon.